They come in white, they come in red, they come in yellow, black or brown, and I like them all natural. She do it right, she rock them braids for that protective style and I like What's up YouTube, it's your girl Full Time Curls and I'm back with another video And in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to straighten your hair Even though we all probably know how to straighten our hair I'm just giving you a glimpse of how I straighten my hair I haven't done a video like that since I got my tapered cut last year in July So I was like I need to start posting some more videos, what can I do? And today I'm actually doing photos for my birthday, which is next Thursday. So I was gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. So I was like, why not videotape it? Go ahead and let the world know how I get that sleeky, fleeky flat iron. Do you feel me? So, um, I've already washed my hair. I don't feel like I needed to show you all that part. It's self-explanatory. You already know what products I use in my hair. If you don't, I will link the video up here um, that will show you what shampoo and conditioner I use and all that good stuff. Um, so this is my hair now, freshly washed. Um, and basically, I'm going to start off, of course, by blow drying it. Um, before I even get into that, I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner, which is my Purology Color Fanatic Spray. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by parting off. And as far as what I put in my hair for blow drying, I use, it's I think it's acai. Is that acai? Acai? I don't know. It's a thermal straightening balm. Um, I got this at a class when I uh, got certified to do Brazilian blowouts. Um, but basically, it has a heat protectant in there. It's supposed to help uh, with blow drying the hair um, and flat, brown, flat ironing or round brushing. And I literally just get a little bit of it. Put that, oh, this section is not big enough. I work in pretty big sections because I like to get this done and over with. I don't like it to take all day. And then I'm gonna go with my blow dryer. If you can tell, the combs of this blow dryer have been through it. And for some reason here where I live, none of the Sally's have ordered these comb attachments. I don't know if they don't think people use them or what, it's really frustrating. But this is a comb attachment I have. I have another one that's wide tooth and it has all of its teeth intact. But I prefer this one because it gives more tension on the hair. So I'm gonna see what it does, see how good it does because the teeth are just breaking as I use them. <laughs> So this is what I usually use though. If I'm not using this, I usually just use a regular blow dryer and my dimming brush because the key to a good blow dryer, especially for curly hair, is to get good tension. So if you have something like a small tooth comb on your blow dryer that gives good tension, you're going to get a really good blow dry. And in turn, when you do your flat iron, your flat iron will be easier to do. You won't have to do as many passes because your hair is basically already straight at the roots and where it needs to be. So basically that's what I'm going to do through my whole head. And then after I get done blow drying it, I will come to you all with how I straighten my hair. I'ma tell you the truth, at least most of it I use my priorities as an excuse, oh no, 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 no. Cause girl, my priorities should've been Okay y'all, so my hair is all blow dried, looking really crazy Um, as you can see, I went ahead and just tossed that comb because literally the Ow Literally, the pieces of the comb were coming off as I was doing my hair, and I felt like it wasn't doing a good job, so I just threw the wide tooth comb on there at the end, which is not bad, but it's just not my preferred method. Um, but I will tell you what I didn't say beforehand is when I do blow dry my hair, I always work from the bottoms and then work my way up to the roots so I can get the bottoms done because it's when you have really tight curl pattern, you go from the roots down, it's almost like I don't know, it's like you're. I don't know, I feel like I'm breaking my ends off when I do that. So I always start from the bottoms, get those real straight as much as I can, and then go from the roots down. Now as far as my flat iron, I do put it on um, 450 degrees, but I make sure since my 
product that I use for my blow dryer has heat heat protecting in it. I also use a heat protectant before I flat iron too. Um, you always want to make sure you're using a heat protectant, like always. And if you can use a heat protectant that tells the heat rating, so you know how much that heat protectant is protecting your hair up to. So the flat iron I'm using is the Bioionic 10X. Um, this is the vibrating flat iron. If you haven't heard of it, basically, we'll see if you can hear it. Oh. So basically it vibrates um, when you, I need to clean this thing, but basically it vibrates um, when you straighten the hair. You can, you have the option to turn it on or off with vibration, but I've been using this for so long that without the vibration it's sort of weird for me. Um, but basically with the vibrating plate, it helps separate the hair so you um, only have to do a couple passes. It helps get all of those hairs completely straight. As far as for my heat protectant, I'm using my Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press heat protectant. Now I'm just going to give me a fine tooth comb um, and then on each section I'm going to put this um, dry oil on there. It's like a serum. Um, this is something I also got for my Brazilian blowout training um, just to help make my hair shiny and make it more smooth when the flat iron goes over it. So I do that on each section as well. Um, so for my flat iron I always do the chase the comb method. So I start with the comb and then I chase it with the flat iron. So I'll hit my roots really good and then I'll just chase it with the flat iron. Chase the comb with the flat iron. And you can see that's a pretty good straightness right there. But I'm going to go over it one more time, especially at the ends. And I'm trying to decide if I want to, I think I'm going to curl my hair today um, instead of doing it straight because I'm tired of doing it straight. I always do it really straight. So we'll curl it. But yeah, so basically that's what I do all across my head. So I'll do it again on this side to show you guys. So I go in at my root, hit it a couple times, and I bring it on down, following my, my comb. The comb method, following it, really helps because that makes your ends really straight. That's what I like about the um, following the comb method. So yeah, so there I have my curls, and I missed a piece, so I'm going to go back in, curl it, and yeah, so there's that, and I'm just going to do that <laughs> all over my whole head. Okay, y'all, so I now have my hair all curled and straightened. I'll give a quick 360. Um, so now what I'm going to do, since I'm about to put on my makeup and stuff, I'm going to just take my brush, which has so much hair in it. <laughs> ah. I'm going to take my paddle brush and just wrap my hair so that when I take it down it has some nice body. Then I'm just going to take my little do rag and place that over my hair making sure it still stays in that wrap position that's one thing I can't stand is when I put on my do-rag and the shit falls down my hair falls down okay so my camera's about to die y'all so I'm gonna do this really quick um, so I'm going to go ahead and take down my hair. Um, I don't see how my camera is about to die already. That camera sucks. Um, so I'm basically just going to unwrap it in the way that I wrapped it. You know, self-explanatory. And there you go. Got a bomb little flat iron. Alrighty y'all, so my camera, so my camera ended up dying um, before I could actually finish off the video. Um, so I already actually went and took my photos. So my makeup sort of drab now. My hair isn't like it was at first, but it's still very fleeky if you ask me. So, <laughs> 
So, um, basically, I just want to show you all what it looks like. Um, it a whole lot better when you do that curl method and then wrap it it just makes it gives your hair so much more body like body and it just looks so much better um so i always tend to do that when i do flat iron my hair or i'll just do it completely straight and then wrap it and let it down um if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you and also if you want to see more like that give it a thumbs up um, if you have any questions about anything that I did in this video or just any basic questions for me, put it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Full Time Curl, so you can stay updated on all my videos like this one. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.